in this video, we're going to go over how to share a Revit file <clears throat> and kind of purge uh, a bunch of the elements that we don't necessarily want to transmit or just stuff that's not really used. So there's kind of a two part uh, process to this. First is we want to save this model. So we're just going to go up here and click file, save as project. And I'm just going to save this on my other screen here. And we're going to save this project um, to our archive folder. We'll find our project name. And um, we're going to put it in our archive folder here. And I'm going to save it with the date. So we're going to call this uh, 2023. And we're just going to click save. Um, we can click options here potentially. And, you know, we could change the work set stuff or anything like that, but we don't need to, we'll just click save. And once we save this model, we're going to close it. And we're going to go back to the add in tab at the top here. And we're going to go back to this little tab here once it's saved. And we're going to use the a transmit functionality to transmit that file and also kind of purge different elements within that file. I'm just going to pause this and wait for it to finish saving. So now that the project has been saved, we're going to um, either go with this button up at the top here, um, or you can just click the back button um, in the tab. And we're going to set up an e-transmit. So we're going to select browse up here at the top. We're going to find our Revit file that we just archived. We're also going to set our save folder. Uh, we use an issued folder. So we're going to save it as a new folder within that issued folder uh, with the date and who we're issuing it to. We're going to turn off include transmittal and air reports. We're going to turn off create a separate folder for each source model. Uh, we're going to uncheck all of these things. Uh, system analysis part, we don't need that either. Uh, we're gonna do a cleanup down here. So we're gonna check this. We're gonna disable work sets. We're gonna disable purge unused. We're gonna enable purge unused. Um, and then we're gonna include all sheets and only the views on sheets. And so once we do this, we're gonna click transmit model. And that's gonna start working to save this. I already did this ahead of time, so here. so. I'm just going to hit cancel and I'm going to open up our model here. And so once this file is open, we want to do a little bit of further cleanup. Uh, we don't need to include all of our sheets and views. Um, so I'm going to go down here to our 3D views here that we don't need. Um, we're going to delete those, probably delete all of them. Delete all of those. Our wall sections we don't really need to include. And then all of our drafting views down here, we can delete all of our drafting views. Delete those as well. You know, we don't really just, we just don't really need to send all of this information to um, whoever we're sending to just it's kind of unnecessary for them. So I usually just leave floor plans and elevations in here um, MEP stuff uh, we can we can leave that's not that important finishing stuff um, I'm going to delete our finishing drawings here and then uh, we can go ahead and delete all of our finishing sheets Delete those and then we're going to delete our design sheets And we're going to delete our some of our section, um, our wall section sheets here and detail sheets. We don't really need to include those, so we'll just delete those from there. So now we have kind of a reduced set of drawings, a uh, reduced Revit file that we can send off to um, our consultant, and uh, that'll uh, 
help them do what they do. Um, we could theoretically delete all the sheets. Um, I might actually go ahead and do that. Uh, um, just completely up to you. Let's open a 3D view here. And then we'll just delete all the sheets. Actually, we might go through and delete legends and schedules as well. I forgot about those. So let's delete all these sheets now. And let's delete our legends. And we can delete our schedules as well. And um, let's see, do we need anything else? It's fine. Um, I don't need to. Um, we're going to select these things. We'll delete those here. Delete these as well. Have that right there. So that's. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the topography in there. Uh, structural views, we don't really need to include those. Um, so floor plans, uh, let's remove our site plan here. And we can delete all of our design views here as well. So um, apologies a little bit more. So again, we're just kind of delivering the, the bare minimum package of drawings. We don't need all this other information. And that should be the bare set of drawings uh, we can submit. Uh, we'll just do one more last purge unused. So we'll go to manage. We'll go up here to purge unused. And we can go to uh, select all. And we'll click OK. And just get rid of everything we don't need. And. Uh, Currently our file is around 200 megabytes. So let's just go save again. And let's see what that reduces it to. Mm, I think it was actually 600 before. So now it's a little bit less. Um, so now that that's done, we can, we can share this file. So I'm just gonna exit out this view and I'll share that file with whatever consultant that we need to share it with. Thanks for watching.